Alrighty, so how is everyone this morning? Are you glad to be here? All right. <laughs> Jeez, typo, English. All right. We're back to our Etsy network interface file. The last thing you guys need to do to make this thing hum is give yourselves a static IP address. And this is how you're going to do it at the command line. All right, so command line static IP addressing is the most exciting thing that we can do since sliced bread. This is better than cheese. This is better than fast cars. This is better than candy. This is better than coffee. Writing a static IP address for your Windows box or your Linux box is amazing. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to find out what our IP address is. So what do I type in? If config. So our IP address. So that's our IP address. Yeah. Yes, we can. Yo, bad touch. No bad touches. This, this, this isn't the airport. This isn't the airport. We're not going to play TSA today. All right. So, oh my God. Can we, go, can we go any further downhill any quicker? All right. So, you want a pen and you want a piece of paper and you want to write down your IP address, not mine. 119. All right. All right. And since this file is actually owned by root, what do we need to do to get into it? Pseudo nano interfaces. All right. So remember, if we don't put the word auto in there, it, you have to manually bring it up and you have to manually bring it down. So if you want to bring up your interface, what do I have to type? Remember all this from Thursday? Oh, if, up. if up, if zero. If down, if zero. So, but what we want to do is we want to make this thing so that it actually automatically starts up. So we're going to go to the, to the bottom of the file and we want to go auto, if zero. All right, that's to make sure that it actually comes up then after we go auto eth zero, we want to go I face eth zero inet static. So interface eth zero I face interface nice little piece of shorthand there. All right, eth zero that's my Ethernet connection zero. That's the one that connects me to the regular network. And then it's an internet connection, and we're going to call it a static IP. If we wanted to make it DHCP. Instead of static, we'd say DHCP. All right, so that's the two way. It can either be static or DHCP. For this class, we're going to make it static. But if you're lucky enough to be working on a DHCP network, you can set it up to be that. Then we want address. Whatever you wrote down is the IP address you want in here. Do not copy my IP address. <coughs> it just won't work for you because I'm on a different network. So. The address, standard, internet, four octet, good to go kind of. Up, right? Well, no, I can't just make it up. You have to know what your old one was. Otherwise, you may call yourself something that you didn't know. And that's why we typed if config to get started. Okay, right. yeah, if, if you didn't type if config, bail out, type if config. It's all one word. And then write down that number. So you're going to want to write down that number. Because writing is good. Pencils are awesome. Hold on, please. Type in if config. I F. C O N. Yep. All right. And then write down that address because that is your external IP address. All right. So everybody's got this part? Yes, ma'am. And the address I'll write down is 10.0.2.15. All right, so our broadcast address is what we want to do next, right? Mm -hmm. So if we want to do that, we want to do, well, actually, we need to do our net mask first. 
So what should be our, two, our net mask in here for a class C? Uh, About zero, yeah. So everyone should have the same net mask. Huh? No. Other than auto low, because that's your loopback port, don't take anything out. We're just going to add. And then our gateway. No, you're editing the current network's file. If you're not with me, hold on. Put your hands off the keyboard. Kick back in the chair. Put your feet up on the table for a second. And I'll come over there and I'll help you in a minute. But literally, don't do anything. <laughs> because the, ch cause the, the chance for doom here is great if you mess this file up. Yep. So yeah, the, the potential for doom here is, is awesome. And then your, your gateway. Your gateway is where you connect up to your routers. The first hop. And it's usually, for, in the, for in this class, it should be 202.1. All right, so then you type in the word gateway, and you should have a file that looks something similar to the one up here. You should know what your gateway is. All right, so you should have something similar to this. All right, and then if you have something similar to this, then what do you want to do? You want to save it. All right. So control X, save, yes, right to the file interfaces, and we should be good to go. And your file should really look something like this, right? Where you have the IP address that you had earlier here in your address, right? That you have your net mask, the same as here, right? And this won't show you what your gateway is, all right? So you should see all this. Those two chunks of data should match for these zero. All right? 202.1 is your gateway. Your gateway is 202.1. This whole classroom's gateway is 202.1. Yes, sir? Can you go to my address of 214, but it's only 124. Does someone else on the network have that? This one here? That's your old one. So if you type if config now, you yeah, should see 214. Oh, you may have to restart networks. All right, and then we got to restart our network. All right, so where do I go to restart my network? CDINIT.D, right? So you can go here to do it, or what else can I do? If down ETH, ETH, ETH zero. So I can do it two different ways, right? I can do a restart on network, or I can just go ahead and down ETH zero. Permission denied, which means sudo if down ETH, ETH zero. Unable to resolve host. Interface ETH zero not configured. I kind of all right, so we should be pretty much good to do that. And then sudo if up eth zero file exists, failed to bring up Ethernet zero. But we should be pretty much so good to go on this at this point. Nope, and that should be okay, right? So ping, pick a place. And if you can get a good ping, then you're good. So just pick a place to ping, to make sure that your network interface is doing what it needs to do. Well, no, ping outside. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, if, if config, if up, down, okay. 
So, so there you go. So that's it. That's your last major task with the networking bit. So is everybody comfortable with this? Are you guys going to work on this over and over and over again? Yes, you are. And it's because this will be a good thing. All right? So if you guys can get in and out. So this is the heart and soul of networking for Linux between Thursday and today, right? If you know where the interfaces are, if you know where your host name is, if you know where your DNS is, everybody remember where is DNS in? Resolve conflict file, resolve CONF, right? So if you know where all these things are, in the box, you can basically get any Linux box up and operating on a network relatively quickly, right? So it kind of makes sense? Are you guys excited about this? Isn't this awesome? Isn't this better than a fast car and sliced bread? But not, not as good as sliced bread. Wow, guys, come on. Come on, this is Tuesday. This is the best day of the week next to Monday. Huh? Corn chips? Well, you know, I'm just waiting to find, I'm waiting for 522 to pass so I can find out if my corn chips have Starling in them or not. There's traces of cat. Traces of cat yep. in my corn chips. Yep. Outstanding. Well, because it takes the rat that's in the back. Well, yeah, but that's just, that's not even a contaminant anymore. No. It's considered a vitamin. <laughs> it's just considered an added bonus at this point. All right, so is everybody good? Everybody got this bit down? Nope. So between Thursday and today, Everybody should be able to wire uh, the network interfaces for their box. Everyone's excited about this, right? Yeah. All right. So the rest of this is practice. All right. So remember how we were bouncing between our Windows box and our Linux box for the name and, and all the rest of it? All right. That's basically what I want you to do. But now that you've hard-coded your IP address in there, right, you have to use your new hard-coded IP address to get to your web server from your Windows box to your Linux box. So your Linux box, your Windows box should be able to reach the web server on your Linux box without a problem. If you've done resolve conflict, if you've done all the naming, if you've done your host your host file on your Windows box, if you've set your, your interface up and all the rest of that stuff. So the rest of this day is making sure that this actually works for you. Now, one of the things I want to ask, right, and this is something that came up last Thursday. If you are going to help your fellow students, ask them before you help your fellow students, all right? There is a lot of interesting advice floating around on Thursday afternoon, right after we got done with the lecture and you guys were banging around. There are a lot of people that got frustrated with bad advice, right? So the official TA for the class is James. The second official TA for the class is Mr. Blackrow because he has been amazing, all right? Mr. Blackrow, he has been amazingly good in helping people out. So those are the two people that are your primary support if I'm off helping somebody else, all right? So I'm gonna just split the room. You, eh, and you, eh. Right, how is that for splitting? But you know, honestly. So if you need help doing stuff, hit these two guys up first and then come and snag me if they're stuck, okay? Yeah. But these are your two guys. So any questions on that one? Oh, and congratulations on the promotion, by the way. Because <laughs> you had no clue this was coming and that is embarrassing. <laughs> I'm really bad about embarrassing people. Okay, so that's it. Your mission by the end of the day is to have this whole thing up and running so that you can hit your web server from your Windows side as long as it's on your Linux box. So that is your mission today. If you have already accomplished this mission from, from hard iron, from a brand new, fresh, unedited image, go all the way through, start from scratch to the end on this one. Because you guys realize that this is what your practical next is gonna be next week. All right, so next Thursday, your mission is gonna be from a fresh install of Linux go all the way through building out that web server and then getting your Windows box to address that web server on your Linux box by name. Isn't that exciting? Huh? You know, you're going to have to have Apache, but I'm not too worried about if you have WordPress running on the Linux box or not. I just want to see that it works. 
your practical is looking like next Thursday, depending on what happens this week. If everyone looks really, really, really comfortable with this, then the practical, then the practical will be week eight. If people are not looking really comfortable with this, the practical will, will be week nine, right? Honestly, because I want everyone to have enough time to practice this, and practicing at home is kind of hard at times. There's just way too much Judge Judy on TV. <laughs> Another homework. All right, so let's see how today goes, and let's see how Thursday goes. But that's your mission, right? Because you guys need to be able to accomplish this in a two-hour window from cold iron all the way through to something operational from your Windows box to your Linux box and talking back and forth to each other. So that's your mission. Doesn't it sound like fun? I mean, we're You're going to have a fresh install of Linux. So cold iron, basically. But that's the mission. All right, and again, we'll just kind of play it by ear as we kind of go on this, but this is going to be your last practical in the class is doing this. All right, and then after that, we hit week 10. You have a mid, you have a final due, and the final is going to look a lot like the midterm, right? So we'll be talking about the final on week 10 on Thursday, which means I have to knock this practical out before then. Because the final is going to cover everything in the class that you've learned, plus all the new fun, happy stuff, right? So that's the story. I'm sticking to it. Anybody got any questions? Yes, sir. Oh. Oh. Pseudo if down if config if zero if I can type today. Alright, and then if then sudo if up if config if zero. So that was it. And even though it's telling me stuff, I'm still good to go. And all I really want to do is reset network services. Hold on, I'll be right with you. Huh? Oh, by all means, before you pass out, food is good. But yeah, no, it's basically, and I had to have help from, from Anton on this one. So it's basically sudo if down if config if zero and then sudo sudo if up if config if zero. So fairly straightforward on that one. If you can't ping Google or Bing or Yahoo, all right, you may need to restart your, your box then and see what happens. Because I'm, I'm throwing errors, and I shouldn't be throwing errors on that. Saying the interface isn't configured. So, But basically, that's, the, that's it. That's all you got. So practice today. See where you go. See how far you get with this.